Hi, uh, this is uh, Sunil. Uh, welcome back to the channel again. Uh, about a year back, I had uh, put up a video showing the sustainable initiatives that I have taken at my residence. I had showed you the solar plant, rainwater harvesting and uh, other stuff. As you all know, cooking takes up a lot of energy in any residence. I have earlier put up a video showing the uh, solar cooker. We have also installed a biogas plant or a biogas digester which converts the household organic waste into cooking gas. This is the biogas digester. I will run through uh, very quickly few technicalities involved in this and show you the gas produced and how we cook in this. Conventional biogas uh, digester, uh, it is also called a floating dome uh, biogas digester. This has a capacity to take up about uh, 10 liters of uh, feed per day that is uh, 3 kgs of uh, organic uh, waste plus 7 liters of water. Uh, how this is set up is the first the biogas plant after it is placed at its location has to be inoculated with fresh cow dung. Uh, cow dung actually uh, ferments inside this digester to produce uh, gas. So, once we have once we fill up this uh, digester with cow dung, uh, please note cow dung plus water. So, we have to mix cow dung and water in 1 is to 1 ratio and allow it in this digester for about 12 to 15 days. This period is called the retention time at this period we will not be able to get any gas. However, we have to keep uh, uh, maintaining this and releasing out the gas which is getting produced here. So, after 15 days we can start feeding in our household organic compostable waste into this digester. So, this digester as I told you takes up about 3 kgs of waste per day. Given the family of 3, 4, 5 we may not be able to get so much waste. So, we actually Apart from the waste that we generate in our house, we also take the waste from a nearby vegetable vendor and we feed it into this biogas digester. I will show you this, this process now, this is inoculated uh, and it has been running for almost a month now. So, we have already finished the retention time and we have been using this. So, I will tell you how this is used on a daily basis, that is day to day how this is being used. So, you can come close by and, and, and take a look. So, this is our uh, uh, organic compostable waste, the vegetable waste from our house and from the near, nearby vegetable vendor. You can also put in uh, the leftover food. So, this can also go into the uh, same feed. So, here it is. Now, this is roughly about 3 kgs of, uh, of waste. To this, we have to add 7 liters of water. So, we add 7 liters of water. Each mug is about 1.5 liters, so I will roughly add about four and a half. So this is the this is the feed. Now this feed is ready for feeding. So this is the inlet. So we open this, and this waste goes into. So, as we feed the digested fluid, this is the previous uh, weeks or previous days digested fluid comes out from this uh, output, uh, output pipe. So, all the digested fluid comes out, this is very very rich uh, liquid fertilizer, this can go to the plants and, and trees. This is one of the major advantages of the biogas plant, not only will we be able to generate uh, gas for cooking, we can get very good nutrition rich fertilizer for the rooftop garden or for our trees. So, as I told you this is the floating uh, dome type digester. 
so this is the uh, this is the floating drum so there is a lot of gas formation inside this drum so as the gas gets utilized the level of this drum falls down and once the gas formation happens the level goes up thereby maintaining the pressure constant so this is our uh, valve through this valve the gas line is connected so this pipe is connected into the stove inside our kitchen we will just show it to you in a while meanwhile you can come here so as i explained this is very rich in nutrition if you directly add this to the plants the plants may die so it's very important that we dilute it at least 1 is to 5 or uh, 1 is to 6 for rooftop garden it's recommended that dilution is 1 is to 6 for the trees you can put 1 is to 3 so this is uh, all the dilute dilution so this is very very rich uh, fertilizer or manure say this can go into our Our garden you can see the beautiful uh, mosambi is being grown technically this can go to any any kind of plant but if you are putting it to shrubs or uh, or or microgreens it's very important to dilute it at least 1 is to 10 never use it uh, directly even for trees it is recommended that you know it is diluted 1 is to 3 so this is about the nutrition so the biogas completes the entire nutrition cycle so we use the waste from our kitchen and from the nearby uh, vegetable vendors convert that waste into gas use the gas for cooking and the digestive fluid comes back into the garden and again we grow nice vegetables and fruits from the same water and the so called waste so let's go to the kitchen and check out how the gas gets produced there this is the biogas stove our biogas comes through this pipe into this uh, stove. Uh, you might uh, note that the burner has slightly uh, bigger holes compared to the conventional uh, burners what we use for LPG. This has got uh, slightly bigger holes. So this is our uh, biogas stove. We will now try to ignite this. Here we go. 3, 2, 1 yes this is the nice blue flame coming out of our biogas plant generated right from the kitchen waste and of course the cow dung so now we will try to make uh, dosa on this and see here we go okay let's make the dosa now Nice. 